All right. I wanted to start with this stuff, but I have to start with this because I can't stand it. <laughs> it's so awesome. This is my Make Art Station, and Station is spelled S-T-A-Y-T-I-O-N. So I kind of want to start at the beginning on how, like, how this came to be. So I like to use stencils a lot, and it, for me it was very annoying to try and stencil when everything's wiggling around. So you're working on a slippery craft sheet, and the stencils are plastic and slippery. So for me it was very annoying, and I love stencils, so I thought I, got to, I have to figure out a better way to get this done. I don't know, just... <laughs> And if it's moving, it's like, uh, I don't like that. All right, so I had this idea. If something is magnetic, it will hold it in place. So I went to, I, to Ranger with uh, an idea for what, at that time, I called it a stencil station. And they said, like, what is all this about? And I said, this will, I want a magnetic base that will hold our stencils in place. And they're like, all right. So what, is, what do you think this thing should look like? And I said, I want a 12 inch magnetic base it has to be solid and not wiggly so that if you want to work in the family room, maybe do watercoloring or whatever you want to do, I want it flat on your lap and not buckled or bending. Okay. Um, rounded corners so nobody gets hurt. I wanted a grid on the front so that we could um, easily line up things in any direction. And I said, I really don't care about the back as long as it's finished. So that's just my signature cornflower blue. But what I've been using this for is as a embossing station. So put your magnets on, the little craft sheet, and now I have extra place to emboss. So that's been super handy to get this out of the way. I love it. So then the next thing I said, I said, now this is the key. I said, if, you, if the magnets have to be exactly like I said, or I don't want to do it. Because <laughs> then I did. And they're like, what? And because there's a lot of magnets that break, right? Mm -hmm. You get them too close together, they snap. If you drop them, they snap. Mm -hmm. and then you, they pin, yeah, and you can't get them apart. They pinch your fingers. So I said, here's what I want. They have to be cute. So they're cute, right? Um, they have to be really strong so that they will hold even my magic mat board, my die cuts. So you can see that held that. Um, I don't want them to break. So they're actually brushed aluminum with a foam base so that they won't scratch the grid. I like that too. And I. I, magnets are going to stick together, but I want them to come apart easily. Yeah. Oh. And that's what they do. And there's one there if anybody wants to play with it. So you don't have to listen to me tell you that they're good. They will not pinch your fingers. So, once I figured out, I ha and once I got it, it was like, it was, a state, it was a stencil station, but it's like, here's where the Ranger infomercial comes in. But wait, there's more. <laughs> so, it, it was like, I, I was grabbing it and using it. I didn't even really realize it. And so it's like things like, okay, I want to um, maybe put my washi on here and I want to make sure my washi tape is straight. So if I line up my carts on here, just make sure my magnets are out of the way. Um, I take my washi, oops, I've got a grouper on it. And if I line it up with the grid, it's on me. If I line it up with the grid anywhere I want my, my washi to stay, I stick it right to the grid, press it on my card stock get my magnets out of the way and then I can either trim that off or just pop it in the back but now my washi's straight every single time so I mean a very small thing but when you do it it's like yeah, <laughs> it's perfect I didn't have to you know I don't it's not like almost good it's good other little things again um, if I want to maybe add another layer on here as long as this is straight on my grid I can take another piece add my perfect card adhesive on here I can put my ruler wherever I want it. So now I have that. This has got perfect card adhesive on it. All I have to do is set it there and again, perfectly straight every time. So these are little things, but they're huge. Other little things. I was trying to arrange my die cuts on here. And every, like everything was moving, so I put my flower pot there. This is moving, so it's making me crazy already, right? So if I put this on here, and it doesn't even have to be straight because really I'm just trying to figure out how I want to arrange my little die cuts. So you can see with just even having one magnet or having the magnets here, you're already better. And once you get your main element down, sometimes I'll add another one on here. And then it's like now I can go ahead and figure out what I want to do here. You can tuck things under. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and everything's not, and move everything's whatever, not moving around. And, it's, and it sounds stupid, but it's, but it's, yeah. it's such a it's such yeah. a time saver and it just... It's, I don't know, it's just... Frustration level as well. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's really it's just so convenient. So I've been doing that too. 
Um, other little, little things. If I want to stamp a sentiment like on a skinny little piece of cardstock here, if I put this around my craft sheet, it's going to slide around. I know yeah. I'm going to hit it when I go to stamp, right? Mm -hmm. That's, and if I put it on here, same thing. But if I put it on with a magnet, all I have to do is line up my little sentiment strip here, put my magnet on, and now I can stamp on here, and it's not going to be wiggling out of the all over the place. So I like that a lot, too. So that's the infomercial. There's that's a whole lot more. So that's when the name changed from Stencil Station to the Make Art Station, S-T-A-Y-T-I-O-N. Cool? Um, the next thing, four magnets, the magnetic base, and the ruler for $19.99. I think that is huge. So when I did my little um, teasing, I put a $20 bill out there to let yeah. everybody know. Because everybody's got $20 to spend, right? I mean, it's not huge. And it's not like I'm going to have to buy it again next year, because this is obviously going to last. Will there be accessories? Don't make me say any secrets, okay? Because <laughs> once I got this, I'm like... <laughs> okay, we have these things too, guys. <clears throat> okay, um, just other things. When I was demoing yesterday, a lady said, "My husband and I take a lot of road trips. He drives, and she said I'm tired of looking at trees. And she said I can put this on my lap in the car. It's small Excellent. enough, and I can work mm -hmm. in the car. Excellent. Uh, you know, or I can work in the family room if I want to get up and get a drink. I can set this on the table, and everything's not going to flop all over the place. And I'm not going to be picking it up off the floor. So I thought that was really good too. They may need a couple, huh? They may need a couple. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be good for scrapbookers too. I don't do scrapbooking, but I wanted it 12 by 12 so scrapbook people could use it too. So you, you know, easily if you have a big title, you could use the magnet to hold it down the, or the ruler, and then you know, do your collage arranging down here with the magnets. And I think that would be really handy for them too. Um, another lady said that she volunteers in a nursing home for early Alzheimer's people and people with disabilities. You know, who maybe not don't have use of both hands. And I thought, this is really genius. She said, I, put, I can give them a piece of paper, put the magnets on there, and it's going to stay there. And if they only have one hand, they can still paint oh, with us. Yeah. So I thought, how sweet. That was really, almost made me cry. Very, I thought, that is so sweet. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like she said, I'm going to have my nursing home order these because, you know, it's, it's just a handy tool for disabled. And I mean, like, mm -hmm. that totally did not enter my mind. <clears throat> so I thought that was really pretty cool. And I think the price point is great, absolutely great. And I, I'm telling you, once you use it, you can't live without it. <laughs> I had it for about six weeks, and Ranger's like, send it back, <clears throat> excuse me, so we can get the packaging done. And I'm like, buy your own. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I said I can't send it back because I need it. And they're like, no, we need it for the packaging. There is only one. And I did send it back because I had to, obviously. But I would find myself turning around to grab it, and it wasn't there. And I'm like, well, how did I make things straight before? I mean, I guess I just eyeballed it. But now it's just so easy to, everything stays in place. So that is my station. Any other ideas or thoughts? Don't don't ask for accessories because I, I don't want to give away any secrets. <laughs> <laughs> They'll kill me. Any questions about this or anything? No, it's great. So we got, if anybody, huh? This is brilliant. Yeah. And you know, it's really odd because when I went to Ranger, like, we better research this and make sure no one else has it, and no one does. Mm -hmm. There's none on the market. They could not find anything similar. The best part I like is the, the magnet, the shape of the magnet so and the size cool. of the magnet. That was you key. You're never going to lose them. Otherwise, we are mm -hmm. always finding the magnets, you know, sitting yes. on the floor. We are always looking for Yes, them. and that's, that's what I said. I said, if the magnets aren't perfect, then I don't want to do it. That's, yeah. I mean, that, to me, this was the key. Yeah. There, that is, that is hugely important. So that is my station. Um, we added six new Make Art Blendable inks to the line. So these match the, or these coordinate with my um, archival inks. So now we have 18 in the Make Art line. Still need six more to go, and these are adorable, yes. right? Aren't they? Yes. <laughs> I love them. The other thing that is super, super exciting for me, Ranger has not done dies before. So we did uh, four stamp stencil die sets. So the first little part of the waterfall packaging has the stamps on here. It has dies on the second little page, and then the third page has a stencil. This one actually has a mask, too. So stamp, stencil, and die, $14.95. So when they sent that, I'm like, is this a typo? Is it $24.95? And they're like, nope, that's right. So here's this one. This one's like my favorite flower, and I actually use that for my packaging, if I could find my packages anywhere. Yeah, yeah, there it is there. Oh, and on my ink pads, too. Um, so here's what the dies look like for this set, and then here's the stencil that matches this one. This one is, um, and when I design these, all four sets are interchangeable. 
So, yeah. So if they get only one or two, they can still add on to them. Yeah, so that you're not stuck with only using the stamp set. So like these two, I don't have sentiments on because I wanted to squeeze a lot of images on, but you can use the sentiments for here are sentiments that you already have. So this is a good one too. This has a lot of little filler things for the pots. There's the dies and then a different stencil for this one. And what these do, these allow you to add polka dots to the, to the pots and they're sized exactly so that you don't get the dots in the background. They're only sized to fit over the pots. Okay, and this one is a cute one too. And there's the dies for this one. And then there is the stencil for this one. So $14.95 I think is a wonderful price. A lot of good value there, right? Um, I want to do just a little reminder about the detail blending tools because I get a lot of questions like when should I use them. So what I did was I just um, shaded a few petals so that you could see the difference in using the blending tools. So these don't have any shading and you can see how much better they look, how much more dimensional they look yeah. with the shading on there. So I love these things. I do. The foam is the same range of foam as the big blending tools. So, and they actually, I was kind of surprised, they, I mean, the, please, because they, the adhesive on here, they held up really, really well. So those are excellent. Uh, washi tape. This is my first time doing washi tape, too, and I didn't know what to expect, and the reviews have been really, really good. They're like, this is Wendy tape, because it looks like me. And Kelly actually took, like, snippets of my art to make the, the washi tapes, and there's some little samples here of what they actually look like in bigger sections. Um, each roll has six yards on it, and each package costs $9.99. So Tracy was here before, and she said like a roll of washi tape normally costs $2.99 or $3.99. So that's yeah, yeah. To, to, great value. Yeah, that's what she said too. She said the price is really good on that. So I'm happy about that. And how do I store my washi tape in my cute little bag? I know this is another thing too. Look at this, $4.99. Like free, huh? $4.99. So when, when I did the art for this, I thought, okay, what do I want? I, want, I kind of want it to have like multi-purpose. So I did the sentiment, um, never priceless, never forget how special you are. So kind of a reminder to ourselves, because sometimes we beat ourselves up, but I also thought it would make a great gift for friends. Yeah. Right, because just a nice, for, at $4.99, you can take, take the bag and put anything in it. So I think it, it makes a great gift. If you're given a gift card even, you know, those envelopes are just kind of generic. You can just pop it in here. It can be a makeup bag. I store my washing in mine, but I, I like it a lot. <coughs> okay. And then this thing, I just wanted to do a little reminder about using archival on fabric. So this was actually stamped and colored with the archival ink. This has been washed, I think about three times. So our, the archivals are permanent and waterproof where these are not. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah, what else can I tell you? What are, any Wendy, questions? Or what? Can you show um, how you use the stencil on this mat? Because somebody asked oh, sure. yesterday about sure. that. Sure. So I can put this on here anywhere I want. Just put my magnets on anywhere that's out of my way. Grab an ink. And you'll see that the stencil does not move. So it's really nice if you're going to add a bossing paste or something, you need a hand to hold the jar and then you need a hand to scoop it out. So you have two hands to work with at this day's place. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Big boss. So you can see it stays in place. Yeah, super, super, super convenient. Like I said, did I sh I get to the third or fourth time, it's like, did I tell them that or not? But it holds, um, even like my mat board, which is really pretty thick. One magnet will hold that too. So even if I want to do a little arrangement on here, I can still put my heart on here. I can do my little die cuts here. I also like that you have holes on it. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I saw on, like on Pinterest, people have pegboard systems in their room, so I thought, you know, that's kind of nice to be able to hang it. Yeah, yeah. I just kind of, you can, and it's thin, so you can slide it between a cabinet. I mean, like if you have, I don't know, whatever kind of systems mm -hmm. you have, but just yeah. kind of, but really I'm going to tell you what, you use it and you won't put it in. So <laughs> yeah. Oh, one other thing too, I had a lot of questions a lot about how to clean paint off of it. And I'm like, you know, it's not a replacement for a craft sheet. It's really, this is the craft sheet. If you're going to do something yucky, messy, that, you know, it's paint, I'm not, I'm not a friend of paint, I do much better with inks. But, so if I'm going to use paint, that's going to be on the craft sheet. It's not going to be on my little baby here. But you can always just put the sheet oh, yeah, on top could. and use the magnet. You mm -hmm. could. 
you could, but that little sheet is not going to be enough for me with paint because <laughs> I am very messy with paint. Even if they have the bigger sheet, that yeah, you could. Cover and then yeah, just and still really, I think I think you could slide it under your craft sheet too, like if mm -hmm. you, you know for the regular size craft sheet at home. If that is it, size. Assistant? with the craft sheet, with the craft sheet. Any other questions? I know. I'm telling you. It's, when does it come out again? Um, it's shipped to us now, so the first part of March. Thank you, guys. Thank you.